Sub-Zero. <laughs> Serena. Welcome to Casa del Cage. I've got one rule. Don't break anything. It's all expensive. And FYI, the house just might be possessed. Straight up, we're talking serious poltergeist-level craziness. Like the weird portal to other realms in my bedroom. Can I tell you how much of a nightmare it's been trying to sell this place? Oh, BT Dubs, there's a key under the rock. Sub-Zero wins. Sweet! You found the key! But you're also gonna need the pin for the security system. It's, uh, A-B-A-C-A-B-B, -B -B. right? Keep it secret, keep it safe. This place is supersized, and I'd hate for you to get lost. It's just like a stoplight. Green means go. Casa del Cage sports the ultimate home theater. Stick around and feast your eyes on the greatest movies ever made. Cage Match, Ninja Mime, and my all-time favorite, Time Quake. I've got cameras pretty much everywhere. Gotta know what I look like at all angles, at all times. And I'm here to tell you, damn, I look good. Time to wake up. New reality. Fight! Finish him! Fatality. 
Sub Zero wins. Thought things were crazy before? <laughs> well, buckle up, Buttercup. Because through those doors is what I like to call Demon Alley. Only go in there if you like fighting vicious nether realm beasties. Ugh, if I could only figure out how they're getting in here. Meet the collector. My personal shopper and lifetime pickleball teammate. He's a cool dude. Just don't get on his bad side. My man's always on the hunt for shiny new stuff. He'll buy or sell pretty much anything. Sub-Zero wins.
reality. Sub-Zero wins. That crazy demon lady dropped a talisman. It's pretty powerful if you know how to use it. Ooh, you can also upgrade a talisman at a forge, you know. Sub-Zero wins. 
flawless victory. Hey, look! It's Bob! Bob's my bodyguard, private chef, and personal trainer. He so can do everything. So, you remember old Demon Alley and how much fun that was? Well, now it's time to throw down with a whole mess of super psycho ninjas. These dudes have ice running through their veins. Like, literally. Use that talus thing on the bob you found. It'll give you an edge. This should help you take down those pesky house crashers. Sub-Zero wins.
Sub-Zero wins. Now you might be thinking, what is this old hunk of junk? I mean, sure, it's old, but is it junk? Hell no. That, my friends, is a relic. The sweet, a uh, sweet thing about relics is that they are loaded with enchantments. Long story short, it'll help you beat the crap out of these damned realm jumpers. Holy crap, that's me. I mean, he's less handsome, less perfect me, but he's still me. Can't believe I'm saying this, but kick my ass. Sub-Zero wins. Excellent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there. What the heck are you doing? Do you even know where that thing goes? It's probably gonna take you to where those freaks who crashed my pad came from. Do you really want another piece of that? As your fake attorney, I advise you to stay the hell out of there. There's no coming back, pal.
test your might. I had one rule. Don't break anything. I banged on that anvil for more days than I can remember it molded by gods when I played that blind blacksmith. And that role was an award winner. Sure, it was for worst performance, but it was still an award. Scorpion invading our timeline also lost his wife and son to Quan Chi's murderous machinations. Consumed by grief, he searched them all to find another Harumi with whom he could rebuild his family. But in timeline after timeline, he arrived too late. Harumi was already dead. When Scorpion reached ours, he was crushed to find that though alive, Harumi was wedded to Kwai Liang. Thwarted yet again, Scorpion's frustration exploded into rage. He has vowed to burn this entire timeline. If he cannot have Harumi, no one will. 